circumstance. He wants you to judge it by the natural eye. But I hear God saying, I'm doing what I told you I'm going to do. Somebody's shaking tonight. Somebody's shaking tonight. But the word of the Lord to you, don't let it shake you. Don't let it break you. Keep your mind stayed on him, yeah. Don't let it break you. Don't let it shake you. Keep your mind stayed on him. Give him a praise tonight. I said somebody ought to give him a praise tonight. This is the best time to praise him when you're not sure if you should. in the atmosphere tonight there's a power in this atmosphere tonight to give you what you need to give you what you need to give you what you need thank you Jesus Whew, Lord I know I know you gave me this word tonight I know you gave me this word tonight Jesus Jesus, 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 Jesus. Don't let it shake you. Keep your mind stayed on him. He trying to break you. Don't let him do it. Keep your mind Stay on Jesus He trying to take the victory from you But he can't do it If you just keep your mind Stay on him He trying to take the victory from you But he can't do it All you gotta do is keep your mind Stayed on him My God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here He trying to take your victory But I'm here to tell you He can't do it Keep your mind yeah. Somebody give him a shout in here. Somebody give him a shout in here. in his presence 
God is in this place. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Paralyzation in the mind is what takes place. It is the last stage before the victory. That feeling of feeling like you're not going to make it is the last stage before the victory. And that's why I know you at the door of your victory. You at the door of your victory. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Come on again. Get your Bibles if you would. Take some bottom out. Take some bottom out, Brian. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, God gave me a word tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Triggers. Thank you so much. Jules is so glad to see you. Triggers. We talked about something last night that I want to bring to our attention tonight. God was speaking to me about this word all day, and I can fully understand why. Yesterday, he said that triggers are people and words and opinions and situations and environments environments all which provoke an intent and excessive excessive emotional reaction within us people do that words do that opinions do that situations do that and environments do that it provokes in us an emotional, excessive, intensive reaction out of us. So on our way to the process, to the prophecy, we will encounter and be interrupted by one of the five. People, words, opinions, situations, and environments. Good Lord have mercy. Good Lord have mercy. So how do I, how do I safeguard myself from people, from words, from opinions? from situations, from environments. How can I stabilize my homeostasis, my balance? How can I bring myself to a stability to the point that I'm no longer affected by people, by words, by opinions, by situations, and by my environment? <laughs> is that possible? Is it possible to have that kind of control? In order to maintain my balance, communication within the body is essential. Somebody said communication within the body is essential. is essential. I didn't say communication outside of the body. Because that which is being disturbed is from within. My inner man is being messed with. So now I have to, 
Now that I dealt last night with people, I got to turn into myself. And I got to figure out how I'm going to stabilize myself. Somebody said, I'm preaching already. Because now I have to go within my body. That your neighbor said, this ain't got nothing to do with you. Because see, there comes a time in your life where, watch this. <laughs> well, you're able to, uh, what is a, a good word for what I'm getting ready to say? You're, you're able to analyze all that is coming towards you from whom it's coming from. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's good. That's and you give it weight according to the weight that it carries. When you learn to do that, you've conquered people. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that again. When you learn to analyze from whence it comes from. Where is that coming from? And who are you to bring that to me? What weight do you carry? When you get through with that opinion, how would that shift my life? And what power do you have to shift it? And that is always determined by the power that they have to shift their own lives. I just said something right there. Most people that have an opinion about your life is confused about their own. Lord, I wish I had somebody say something right there. Most people that have a, uh, watch this, most people that have an opinion about your life is confused about their own. How do I know that? Because they don't want to pay attention to their own life. They want to ignore their own life. They don't like their life. Oh, Jesus, have mercy. They're not interested in their life. They're interested in your life. Talking here today. He gonna talk in here today. I promise you. Because now you're dealing with. Well, 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 Dr. Bonnie, well, what am I dealing with? What, what part? Because the mind is of a twofold entity. It's a twofold entity. There is, there is, there was a spiritual mind and there was a natural mind. I think we all know that. But what we don't realize is that which mind was created first? Had God not created the spiritual mind before he created the natural mind, then watch this. Then we would never ever be raised above the level of the animalistic mindset. I don't think y'all... The difference between us and animals is that we have the potential to have a mind like God. Which means whenever the devil tried to mess with your mind, you have the power in Christ Jesus to be raised above the earth realm. In other words, I can get up out of here anytime I feel like it. In other words, I can be sitting right next to you. And the power of God can elevate me to a level where you can't find me. Oh, that's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about going to our rightful place. We're talking about being restored back to my original mind. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not talking about the mind that was messed up by your mama and your daddy and your uncle's rape and your auntie's incest. I'm talking about the original mind that God gave you. Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all get me too excited. I promise you, I'm excited about this word tonight. Even in Asia, even in our creation, even in our creative, supernatural state in God. God is so awesome that he created the brain to be neuroplastic. Neuroplastic, which means it can be remolded and it can regrow. Somebody don't want to hear that. Which means I'm not stuck in the state that I'm in Because I have a neuroplastic brain Come on somebody Y'all ain't here That's the reason why you can become whatever you want to become Because you have a neuroplastic brain And that's why I know your life is not over And I don't care what you've been through I don't care how long the devil suck your life Your brain can regrow I'm not hearing you It can be retrained Who am I talking to? And that's what's happening New brains. I 
I just felt that in the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor I'm getting a new brain. Oh, the love of Tell your neighbor I'm getting a new brain. Something different is happening to me. God is reconnecting me with my divine assignment. A new brain. A new brain. Hey, my old one was injured at 16. My old one. Who am I preaching to tonight? My old one was injured by rape. My old one was injured by incest. Who am I talking to? But tonight, God said a new brain. A new brain. A new brain. Wait a minute. A new brain. A new brain. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This thing is. This thing is up. So, so, so the possibility of the true nature of the way God made the brain. Y'all, this thing is crazy. Remember what He said in the scripture: If I cannot find somebody to do battle for me, y'all remember this from that three with me. I will whistle for the bees and the flies, but I will never be left without a weapon. That thing makes sense to me today. I will, I will, I will, I will whistle for the bees and the flies, but I will never be left without a weapon. So when he started talking about the bees, I said, okay. Then I found something to be extraordinary. It said that unlike any other animal in the kingdom of animals, the bees have the kind of brain that is most related to the human being. Which means when a bee has been given a new assignment, it will change its brain and revert its age back. The bee will begin to reverse its age back. So this is for all the people that think it's too late because I'm too old. I'm not here. When you say yes to God, God begin to reverse age off of you. Who am I talking to? He begin to reverse your brain back. Tell somebody he's reversing something right now. Oh, y'all ain't saying it like you mean it. I said, tell your neighbor that God is reversing something right now. Come on, tell them your brain is changing. Come on, it's in the atmosphere. Something is happening. Oh, I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm telling you, I feel this thing. Called out my shot up, which means everything that you were hindered in before you walked in this building, everything the devil said you would never have. I'm not giving you. God is giving you a new brain. Now watch this. Now watch this. Y'all, 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 sit down. Now watch this. Hey, shout out to Satya. I shout out to Satya. 60 seconds ago I was switched See you can sit here if you want to But the Bible talks about hope deferred I'm not going to push my hope back I said 60 seconds ago Something happened in me No you don't have to receive it I said 60 seconds ago God changed something in me My old brain My old brain My old brain had had limitations. Can I back this train up? My old brain, it had people in it and opinions in it and situations in it and environments in it. But my new brain. Okay, okay, okay. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Somebody said, Lord, I need you to, I need you to fix me. He said, I'm not doing that in 2019. I'm giving new organs and new brains. And, 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 and I'm not hearing y'all. I don't want to fix that old one. I'm giving new hearts. Y'all ain't got to believe that. I'm giving new kidneys. You know how I'm giving a new blood system. I'm talking about the miraculous. It's sitting over in 2019. Who am I talking about? I'm doing the creative thing. I'm doing creative miracles. Why? Because I'm raising this up to have the mind that was in Christ Jesus. Okay, 
sit down. So let me read this scripture. Let me read this scripture. Let me read this scripture. Let me read this. Oh, Jesus. So, 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 so this is what Romans, much better. This is what Romans 12 and 2 said. Watch this, watch this, y'all. This, this, this thing going to bless you so good. It said, so here's what I want you to do. Reading from the Message Bible. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, your eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. become so well adjusted to what big mama them used to do that you find yourself adjusting your life to that I'm not hearing y'all don't you watch this be careful about your surroundings because your cousins didn't go to college and your mama didn't go to college and your daddy didn't go to college and big mama only went to the second grade don't get so comfortable in your culture that you begin to adjust yourself like it Can, 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 I, can, can, I, can I mess with us for a minute? Don't get so oh God. Don't get so adjusted to the culture of slap your neighbor half five and tell your neighbor we're coming out. That you begin to live by that foolishness. No, I'm not hitting. I'm I'm, going to come on this side. Don't get so accustomed to just singing Jesus on the main line like something magical is going to happen for your life when I'm giving you the ability to have a creative brain that you can speak those things which be not as though they were. That would that would present their life now. Give me this as a gift so I can give you back a new brain. I'm, a, I'm finished with this phase of your life. Oh Jesus, I can't hear nobody talking to me up in this building right here. I want to do a new thing. The Bible said, Behold, I've done a new thing. Have you not seen it? Have you not? Heard it? Oh, oh, okay, sit down, sit down. Culture. The culture cancer. Y'all sit down, let me teach this thing. The culture cancer. Oh, God. Well, this is what you got. And, okay, opinions. Don't be, don't be trying to do too much. And go too fast. Because you, 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 you out there in some pipe dream. I'm not hearing culture talking to you. Opinions talking to you. That's why many of you have missed the miraculous in God. Because you're listening to people who operate in their natural mind. I'm not hearing y'all. And the natural mind is limitations and death. Okay. 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 The natural mind. It's limitations and death, which means the end result of everything you try to do in the natural is that thing is going to die. It has a life span attached to it. I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not. Is anybody listening to what God is saying? Anything that you try to do. And the natural without the supernatural because you are the church and the church was birthed out of the supernatural and the church must continue to operate in the supernatural. The church can't turn corporate. I I'm sorry y'all. The church can't turn intellectual. The church can't just be about Bible scriptures with no spirit behind it. I'm not hearing y'all. Y'all ain't saying that because the Bible said that the letter killeth this thing of confusion.
confuse you. And that if you don't get a revelation from God, this thing will confuse you. But it is a spirit. Wait, I'm going to break something down and justify. By, okay. You know, I was just believing God for, for something major, Dr. Bynum. And um, you, di you didn't think that up. My God. You didn't think that up. God, God drops supernatural belief systems in people based on their capacity to hold the vision. I, 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 can't, I can't get nobody to say nothing right here because if you believe it, if you believe it I don't care if dogs and cats don't believe it if you believe it, I don't care if don't nobody believe it if you believe it, I don't care who done failed at it but you ain't gonna fail because God drops belief systems in us according to capacity and if God got you believing that it's because he trusts the fact that you're going to process that thing you're not going to abort it and it shall come to pass Tell somebody what I'm believing God for is my capacity. No, no, no. You, you, you ain't said that like you mean that. Tell them what I'm believing God for is my capacity to believe him for that. Wait a minute. And then tell them said, the reason why I'm not going to stop believing it. Because believing is free. And it don't cost me nothing to believe it. Oh God, I just said something right there. I just said something right there. Ha, 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 ha. Ain't nobody being charged for me believing it. Ain't nobody being offended but the devil for me believing it. Believing God is free. Wait, wait here we go. Here we go. So, Lord Jesus, y'all taking me too fast. So, so, not only does he give me a, give me a, the ability in my brain at will. At will. Watch this. To get a new one. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Because every single day, every single day after 12 o'clock midnight, between the hours of really 4, 3, and 6 in the morning, some, you know, they said the body go into a coma, right? Y'all heard that the body. Okay, the body is not going into a coma. The body is going into recreation. Right, right, right. That's good. So That's during right. those hours, your whole entire body is getting all brand new cells. Sign. I'm just gonna preach to you, one of the Every single day, between four and six, your whole entire body gets all brand new cells. And those cells have been classified by medical scientists as being positive cells. Which means by the time you get messed up by people, you woke up positive. Something happened to you in your environment. I'm not hearing y'all. Somebody better come over here and hear what God is saying. It's the people around you that keep messing up your brand new. Because every day you wake up with brand new cells. Every day you wake up with the ability to recreate a brand new brain with the brand new cells. You just get hooked up to crazy people. I can't get nobody to talk to me. You woke up this morning with every cell in your body brand new. And look at how you messed it up. I, I can't get nobody to say nothing, so I'm just. Did you hear what I said? They are positive. They are firing off positive, energizing thoughts because his mercy is new every morning. And he said, you messed up yesterday, but every single morning, I'm going to give you a chance to be brand new. Y'all ain't saying nothing up in here. See, listen, listen. See, when you're living in the culture system, you don't know that you knew. So you acting like, well, you know, I'm going through something. No, that was yesterday. I'm not hearing y'all. Who am I talking to? It's done got better today. Well, it don't look better, but it is better because you got brand new cells that's helping you to make it better.
better. There's something else new that's being fired off in your body. Brand new. Okay, I'm going to help somebody right now. I'm going to help you right now. You got time to catch your newness and get it back. Okay, you, you, I'm, I'm, they laid over here. Maybe, maybe y'all just caught what I said. You got time to denounce the works of the devil and back that thing up and say, no, I'm going back to this morning. Oh, you ain't hearing me. You ain't hearing me. I'm going back to the mercies of God. I'm going back to the fact that he made it new. I'm shaking off everything the devil tried to do to me. I'm shaking off everything he tried to make me think there is no limitations in God. God can do anything. He can lay somebody down. Wake them up with a whole brand new thought about you. You don't know who you serving. I'm out. Happy New Year. You better know what you're saying. Not Happy New Year, Happy New Day every single day. This thing in me is daily, not yearly. Okay, I can't get nobody to say this. I can't, I can't. Let me, let me. I'm going somewhere with this. I got, Lord, the illustration that God gave me. Watch this. So it said here, um, without even thinking, instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be, you'll be changed from the inside out. <laughs> Readily recognize what he wants from you. And quickly respond to that. Did you read in there where he told you to ask somebody what they think about it? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Did you read in there what they said? Well, you know, so and so tried that. And they was going to have that same kind of business and they failed. But they not me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm standing in a vision that the devil said would never happen. I'm standing in the vision because the Bible said, do not consult man. I'm not giving you. You consult the Lord because the supernatural is in the hands of God. And when it's time for God to produce that thing, he will provide for you. All God got to do is speak to one person. I'm not giving you. One person got your miracle. I wish somebody would shout for that one right there. Because you sitting up here looking like I just said some off the side of my neck. I said one person got your miracle. Well, what? Sit down. What I'm shouting for? What I'm shouting for? What am I shouting for? I may want a, watch this, I may want a, a smoothie from the bookstore. A refreshing smoothie. I'm not calling you. You don't work the bookstore. You don't know nothing about the machines in there. I'm not hearing y'all. But then when I want what I need, and I know who got it, I say, Sister Ennis, I need a smoothie. That's what you're shouting for. Because when you're shouting, you're telling God, God, I need you to fix this. God, and you're the only one that can turn this around. I'm not giving y'all, you better open up your mouth up in here. Respond to it. I'm, 
I'm, I'm helping some of y'all religious people right now. Unlike, this is the Bible I'm reading. Unlike the culture around you. Unlike the person that's sitting next to you. Looking all dried up. I'm not hearing y'all. Unlike the culture around you. Always dragging you down to its level of immaturity. God brings the best out of you. Develops well informed maturity in you. I'm not hearing y'all. So I can't make you understand why I'm crazy enough to shout and believe God. Because what God is responding to is the maturity that is within me. Let me say it like this. I'm mature enough to be dumb enough to believe that if I shout, he going to respond. Wait a minute. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to work with this. Sit down, sit down. So, so, oh, I feel it. I, it's like I feel, I feel the miraculous right now. I feel divine reversal. I really do. Like, like something, something is being turned. I feel like whatever door was shut, God just opened another one. But you're going to still get it. Somebody better put, no, I feel that. I feel that for real. 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 Whatever door was shut, God is opening up another door. God done found somebody else. If you're in this service tonight, if you're watching by internet, the Lord done found you another door. He done found you another way. He done found somebody else. And oh, yes, Lord, he said it's going to be bigger. It's going to be greater. And I hear the Lord say, I blocked that. You think it was the devil, but it wasn't. Uh, 
I'm not here. Choose. I have set before you. Wait, 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 wait. So, so the kind of mind is death. Now, now listen, listen to this. This thing blessed me so good today. Bless me so. But the spiritual mind is life. Now watch this. The spiritual mind. How do I have? What is? What is? What is the spiritual mind? When I, when I, when I, when I think spiritual. When I, when I think spiritual, yeah, yeah, and I have yeah, yeah. a spiritual mind. No, 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 no. When you think spiritual, you have an emotional mind mm. that can be changed with something else that is spiritual. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right, teach this. <laughs> when Lucifer was thrown out of heaven, uh-huh. he didn't go from spiritual to natural. No. Right. He went to another spiritual. Yeah. So when you have a spiritual mind, and that spiritual mind is the emotionalism of spiritual, then another spirit can come and change that mind. And see, that's what keeps happening to us in the in the in the in the atmosphere of the church. We keep we keep coming to an emotional spiritual mind. Until we get outside and another spirit attacks us. And then we go to another spirit. We're so spiritual until the deception of the devil is never to bring us to the natural. It's to just shift you to another spirit. And how does he switch me? He switches me to another spirit because he knows that there is a part of spirituality that is sensual. So he places me in my walk and my belief system in God in sensuality of my spirituality. In other words, I got to feel it in order to believe it. Okay, let's just dismiss. Let's just dismiss because y'all, y'all start to look at me like. In order for me to have faith in my spirituality, I have to feel the sensuality of my spirituality. Y'all, I'm, 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 I'm going somewhere with this. Can I, can I have five minutes? Can I have five minutes? So, so the feel good is my indicator that he is on my side. When that's not what he said. He said when you are weak, then I'm on your side. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think y'all, I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all, when I have a shortage that's when he on my side. I don't need him on my side to make me feel better. I need him on my side to strengthen me. So the best time for me to praise him is when I don't feel like it. help me with this. So, so my brain, y'all please get this tonight. Yes. Please don't turn off. My brain responds to the spirit of my mind by sending these neurological signals throughout my body. Uh-huh. Stay with me. Stay with me. Please stay with me. Stay with me. Which means My thoughts and my emotions are transformed into a physical, logical, spiritual effect. Which means my thoughts and my emotions turns physical. Emotions turn me physical. 
emotions cancels out my spiritual and it turns me physical you don't hear me emotions tell me I got to do something about it emotions bring me out of the spirit of God and it turns me into a physiological effect which means I without God got to feel like I got to do something Somebody said, I don't know if I got that. Dr. Bobby. I can tell when I'm in my emotions because I react. Bring my, bring my backpacks. Bring me a chair. Bring my backpacks. Bring me a chair. Come to shop. Cheyenne, come here. Stand by here. Bring me one of them flimsy chairs. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Somebody bring me a chair. Can I show you this? Give me a folding chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sit that down. Sit that down. Sit that down. Sit that down. Okay, give me a folding chair. Give me a folding chair. Okay. Sit that right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. So. So, sit down. spiritual. I'm 2019, we ain't playing no head games. We, we <laughs> 2019, this is where the rubber meet the road. Right. This is where all the dumbness stops. Spiritual. So, so, when I am in my emotions, I turn physical. Right, right. So Cheyenne, um, uh, where's where's the brother? Where's the brother? So brother, I want you to I want you to shout Cheyenne's name. And every time somebody shouts your name, I want you to run to where they are. I want you to walk, I want you to run, okay? So um anytime you get ready, don't I'm I'm not gonna say shout her name, just anytime you get ready. So physical. <laughs> so physical is the result of emotional. Mm -hmm. Emotional, my emotions. Right, right. Shout her name. Cheyenne! So, physical, physical, come on, back to you. Cheyenne! Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody else call her. Somebody else call her. Yeah, yeah. Sister Enos, call her. Cheyenne! Physical, emotional. You don't even know what these people want. They just sending for you. And you just running all over the place. Okay, I'm talking. Uh-huh, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost talk. Because half of the people that send for you with foolishness, you don't even know that the devil is working something else behind that. And he running you all over the place. In your emotions, I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. Cheyenne! Because I'm emotional. Sit down. I, I just gotta say this one thing. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be done. Spiritual doesn't mean doesn't mean it doesn't mean physical. Spiritual is a state. It's an existence. It's a being. It's my persona. How do I get this persona? Because he says this. The words that I speak, they are spiritual. Can I paraphrase this? And this is your life. So I'm not calling you to be emotional. But you can't help but to be emotional because you don't have a word from me. You don't read your Bible. You don't have enough scripture in you to transform you into something spiritual. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. In other words, you have not had an experience with this word. What do I mean by? By an experience is not, it's not your makeup. It didn't design you. Good Lord, help mercy. 
your arms and your legs and your feet and the way you talk and the way you walk and the way you respond to things is not the result of the spiritual word of God. You are a mixture of something. And that's why some days you're stable and some days you out of your mind. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me because you haven't permitted the word to complete the work of transformation into being spiritual. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Spiritual. Watch this. Spiritual. The mind of God is not easy to find out. Spiritual. You can't locate me. Spiritual. When you think I should react, you don't know where I am. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Spiritual. Because when you think I should be depressed, I still got my hands up worshiping God. I'm not hearing y'all. When I should be cracking up, when I should be down, when I should be ready to give up, I'm stabilized. I'm not, I'm not hearing y'all. Why? Because my, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Lord, help me. So, so, so brain, so, so I'm, 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 the, the brain functions like, um, this is the frontal system. And so, and so information hit this place first. It hits the front of your your head, your shock, your shock. When you spiritual, they don't even throw your head back. And, and you shock. So why people be looking at you like you so calm? Uh -huh, because, because, because because this part of my brain have been fortified. It has been fortified with the word, so it doesn't react to anything that's less than that. I don't know how to come down here because it's not my makeup. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I, I'm gonna say it again. I don't know how to come down here because that's not my makeup. Like right now, I don't know how to speak Spanish. I'm not Spanish. I, I listen. I couldn't do it if I tried. It's the same thing when the Word of God has taken full control over the brain. I don't know how to come down here. I'm not hearing y'all. It's not my makeup. I'm not familiar with that area. I don't function down there, and I cannot function down there, and have not in many years. So it hits the frontal system. And then it goes from the, from the frontal system to the limbic system. And this is where all of your emotions is. And this is where you cry. And this is where you, where you feel bad. And you just feel depressed and all of that and all that. Okay. So, so, my, so my frontal has been attacked. And, 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 my, and my limbic system got me crying. And so day two passed by. And my frontal system still got me attacked. And my limbic system still got me emotional. And then by the third day, my frontal sensor got me attacked. My limbic system is starting not to cry as much. But now them found me some company that I can talk about what I just went through. So then it keeps me in the limbic system. Because then the company going to tell you how bad it is and what you should have did. And I would have got her told. And I would have just slapped her face. So, so you still here. And now you got company to help keep you here. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me right now. Now you got people to agree with the fact that you've been done wrong. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. So you stay here. You live here. You live from here to here. This is what spiritual people do. Emotionally sensual and spiritual people. They live from here to here. And then when another emotion come in the house of God, they cry and they give a release and they, and they, and they wail out before God. That's not a real deliverance. It's a sensual spiritual it's a feel good it's drugs it's not the victory God help me Jesus tonight Holy Ghost up in here who is God helping tonight who, and we keep coming to church and getting high and that's why we cannot get to destiny because we cannot get from here to here can't get out of it so then the words They are spirit and they are life. Okay. Stand up. That's heavy, ain't it? It's real heavy. I bet you when they call your name now, you can't run like that. Because when I have the word in my spirit, 
and I got the prophecy in the back of my cortex. You can't run me anywhere. No, you don't hear what I'm saying to you. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? I said when you got the word of God in your spirit, it weighs you down. It doesn't allow you to become emotional. You can't answer everybody and all of their gossip and all of their lies and all of that junk on Facebook and everywhere else on YouTube. You can't afford to run to it. You don't have the fortitude to it. Why? Because I'm carrying a prophecy in the back of my cortex. That's what the Bible said. I can bring all things back to my remembrance. Who am I talking to? That's the real Holy Ghost. He will reach back in your brain and pull up everything that he said and that refrains you. So I'm not emotional. What you talking about? Because I'm still trying to figure out how to balance the word in my spirit and the prophecy on my back. I can't, I, I can't get nobody to talk to me. So, so there's going to be some days that I don't, I don't feel the joy. And there's some days I don't need to. Because that's not the basis of what I'm carrying. My sensuality is permissible because of my humanism. But that's not what God relies on to have me operate in faith. He had me to rely on the weight that I'm carrying. So when you ain't got no prophecy and you spend most of your time watching Empire and all that other junk. Sister Enos, call her name. There you go. There you go running. All over the place. There you go with no identity. Come on, teach this thing tonight. There you go becoming everything that everybody wants you to be. Say it. And then after a while you start walking in their belief system about you. Because you ain't got nothing on your back and you ain't got nothing in your spirit. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Who, who is God helping right now? Who is God helping right now? You watching by Facebook. Who is God helping right now? Who is God? You have missed coming into the prophecy that God has for you because you got people running you around. But God is saying tonight, you got to go back and get your notebooks out. You got to dig up every prophecy that God gave you because the prophecy is your stability. The prophecy is your spirituality. Not what you feel. Because some days you're going to feel like quitting, but you can't. Why? Because you don't have the power to take that thing off your back. You don't have the power to take the word out of your spirit. You've been chosen to carry the prophecy.
got to check with my backpack to see if all that foolishness you're talking about, that ain't in my backpack. And then I got to consult with the word that's in my spirit. And I got to see if what you say and line up with the word. And if it don't line up with the word, and it has nothing to do with what I'm carrying in my bag, then as much as I want to respond, I can't. Well, all of what they saying about you, you should, I can't. I can't, I, I, I can't. You ought to get on Facebook or you ought to give your peace. I can't. It's not in my backpack. Not in my spirit. And Larry Lee used to say a very profound statement. No other spirit is going to rule over my life but the spirit of the true and living God. Don't sin for me in 2019 because I'm not coming. I just wish I had somebody in here to just go to praising God right there. Don't sin for me because I'm not coming. I don't have time for foolishness. I got to get this stuff out of my backpack. I'm not giving y'all. I ain't got time for foolishness. I'm carrying a heavy load. I'm doing something that's never been done in my family before. I'm doing something that's never been done in my bloodline before. I gotta pass this legacy on to the next generation. Do not sin for me. I'm not coming. Disappointment and distractions become your person. I always got to tell you off and I ain't gonna let you get that become. He's trying to get you to a state. Over in another spirit. Because when you've been called to be spiritual, you have to be careful that you're not switched. talking to tonight who did he talk to tonight because he's trying to switch you wait gives you time to think before you react did, was that good was that good was that good right there yes. Yes. Well, her, 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 her,
Wait gives you time to think about what you're going to say. Think about what you're going to do. Wait gives you the power to navigate to victory. Navigate. Because if I keep my emotions out of it, I can get direction for it. Somebody mess with something. Little baby over there mess with her in school. I'm going up to that school. Wait. Wait in your front and your back make you stop and think. Makes you consider the other souls. Wait makes you say, well, maybe they're having a bad day today. Wait makes you approach it differently. Without it, you live a life of regret. Without the activation of your prophecy and the word of God daily in your spirit is bringing you to a state of regret. I regret how I acted. I regret what I said. I regret how I responded to them. I regret that I gave up that vision. I regret that I gave up that idea. I didn't have enough weight and word to stabilize me. So now I'm sensual. of the spirit. He's not talking about some wandering, sensual goosebumps that I sense in my field. You can't trust that in 2019. He said to be spiritually minded is to be word minded. Because the word turns into spirit. And spirit transforms you into a state. the devil trick you. You, you, you take your prophecy off your back put it down that's what you do when you refuse to consult with the word that's in you what just happened you just returned to be normal average human and switched over to a spirit of sensuality that we call Christianity Tonight. I don't want to be sensual I want to be a believer and I don't have nothing to believe if I don't read it faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word stuff that people out there saying about you but you just act like you like in a la la land or something but you got to see 
I said, I do. I said, I'm choosing to believe what he said. I said, and what he promised me is what he did on the cross. He's going to make an open show of the devil. And you don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. Some of y'all want to fight your own battle, but God said, I'm about to make an open show of the devil. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Y'all better open up your mouth and say something. Because the Bible said that if the devil had ever embarrassed you, the Bible said, for your shame, you shall have double. You better open up your mouth and give God a praise up in here. Because I promise you, he's saying tonight, I'm not a man that I should lie. Neither the son of man that I should repent. If I spoke it, I'm going to make it good. Get this one. 
unfolding revelation so that we are not spiritually deceived. I never saw it like this. But your prophecy is your statement. So go get it. Jesus. I'm going to say it again. too heavy tonight. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I've never heard it on that order. The Bible said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We take that as a death scripture, but he said to me to be absent from all of this sensuality is to be present with me. I just feel something so heavy in here right now. I don't know, I just, I just feel something so heavy in here right now. God, I feel something so heavy. I feel, I feel such a deliverance. like a revelation has hit the earth realm. God had a boo Somebody come on, give God a prayer. I feel it. You out there on Facebook, I can sense it. I can sense it. I can sense what's going on on Facebook right now. A revelation, a revelation, a revelation, a revelation. When it's sent to you, you're not weighty enough. Somebody come on and worship him. Come on, somebody worship him. Come on, somebody worship him. Hey, he's switching your spirit over. Go on this come. Oh my God. Divine reversal is happening. He's taking you back to your original sin.
This is why we can't do mind the things of the spirit because we have not been instructed by it because we don't have the word. I can't mind the spirit because I don't have instructions. I can't mind the spirit because I don't have the mind of the spirit. speak you don't have the mind of the spirit of God because you ain't heard him speak you have to eat him to become him stabilizes me. It forever stands. Many plans are in the mind of man, but only that which is of the purpose of the Lord will stand. I have standing power when I have his word. I gotta go. All over this building, the 119 seed that he's talking about. Somebody give me some of them. All over this building. You in this building and God is speaking. I'm telling you. Everybody that would obey him, come down and get this envelope out of my hand to give the 119 seed. Come down. All over this building. All over this building. Come quickly. As often as you do it, you're going to see the hand of God move in your life. That's it. That's it. That's it. The Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. Now I know what faith is. Faith is his word. Oh, somebody worship him. You watching by Facebook. Hit that contact us button all over this building. Get a seed in your hand and come and get this envelope right now. Dr. Bynum, I don't have 119, but I'm giving the biggest seed I can because I got to connect to this word. I got to be identified. You're watching by Facebook. you got to be identified. He's not calling you to watch a show. He's calling you to connect and be a participant of what he is saying. Hit that contact us button and sow that seed. Many of you that are watching right now, God said sow it. The 119 seed, I'm being identified in 2019 with what God is doing in this building. Sing it, come on.
divine revelations that God is speaking in this house. He's doing something that's different and new because he's bringing us into a fullness of the understanding of who he is. Because no longer will we miss God being sensual and not understanding the power of what we have in prophecy and in the scripture. I don't know about you, but God is processing you to the prophecy this time. 2019, you're not going to miss it. 2019, you won't be hoodwinked by the devil. 2019, you won't be deceived. But you're going to have to understand this tonight. That God is walking you through the process to your prophecy. And obedience is going to be the key to everything that God does for you. I was done Tuesday and Wednesday. But obedience said Thursday and Friday. He's talking to somebody that's watching now. And you can sit there and you can say, you know what? I enjoyed the service, but that is not what God has called you to do. He didn't have you to tune in to enjoy a service. He had you to tune in because God is changing your life. He's converting you for real. Divine reversal is taking place for real. And he's calling you tonight to connect with this word. And hit that contact us button and show that 119 seed. It's me connecting with the fact that this is the year. That I'm going to come into the fullness of what God said. And I won't look upon it. I'm not going to fumble my way into it. I'm going to walk in it intentionally. Because I'm going to know exactly what I'm doing. Because I'm being led by the spirit of God. Hit that contact us button and obey God. Do it now. Do it now. You may say, Dr. Bynum, I don't have 119. God said, give the biggest seat you can. But a seed is what identifies with what's coming up out of the ground. When you see oranges, it's because an orange seed was planted. When you see watermelons, it's because a watermelon seed was planted. When you see prophecy fulfilled, it's because a seed was planted. Be obedient to what God is saying and watch and see. Don't you see results this year like you have never seen before? Somebody give God a praise in this place. All over the building, come and give your seed. All over the building, come now and give your seed. Come now, come now. All over the building, that's it, that's it, that's it. Go with you.